Tonight, a collision course on board the SeaWorld helicopter with impact imminent. A passenger's frantic warning to the pilot. A Parkley property raided, counter-terror police arrest an Islamic State bride saved from Syria by our government. Teens charged, accused of terrifying carjackings across Sydney's west. Premiers join forces calling for a Medicare makeover to increase the number of bulk billing doctors. We're live to the Vatican as tens of thousands of people prepare to farewell Pope Benedict. Plus, Steve Smith and Usman Khawaja create history as Australia dominates the SCG test. This is Nine News with Amelia Adams. Good evening. Tonight, we can show you the terrifying moment of impact as seen by those on board one of the helicopters involved in the SeaWorld tragedy. Moments into the video, a chilling realisation from a passenger in the back as the second helicopter comes into view. And a warning, some viewers may find images in this story distressing. The moment of impact caught on camera. Nine News. And with a check of today's weather, Here's Sophie. Evening, Sophie. Good evening, Amelia. Summer was nowhere to be seen today in Sydney with showers and temperatures well below average. Most of the rain fell while we were sleeping. The city collecting 13 millimetres. Campbelltown received a drenching, picking up 50 millimetres overnight. Penrith recorded around 20. Wild swell out on the water too. The Manly Ferry, not for those with a weak stomach today, bouncing around in choppy conditions. Yeah, not for me. A gusty southerly change moved up the coast today, making it feel around six degrees cooler than it was. Watermulla recorded the strongest gust early this morning, 95 kilometres an hour. Canal 76, Sydney Airport peaked at 74 kilometres an hour, 72 the top at Manly. 69 on the harbour, much calmer at Penrith and 33 kilometres an hour. A cool at night across Sydney, dipping to 17 in the city before a high of 23 that felt more like 17 degrees. The west reaching 21 degrees just after lunch. The cool conditions stretching right down the coast. So when will summer return? I've got those details coming up a little later. Amelia. Thank you, Sophie. See you then. Next on Nine News, a holiday fun quickly turns to fear for these tourists. Their boats swallowed by waves on the south coast, injuring seven. Battle of the cities, the coveted title Sydney's set to lose to a southern rival. The fishermen who put it all on the line to get their snappy catch back out to sea. And why being out of breath could be a sign of a serious underlying health issue. It's an age-old battle which city is bigger and better, Sydney or Melbourne? According to new data from the Federal Government's Centre for Population, Melbourne will soon take the title. It's predicted Melbourne's population will overtake ours by 2032, making it the country's largest city. Melbourne more livable than Sydney. I mean, please. I mean, we've got uh, the best harbour in the world, the Opera House, the Blue Mountains, the best beaches, and they've got that was Federation Square thing. Greater Sydney is expected to grow from 5.3 million people to just over 6 million over the next decade. A man has been thrown overboard and several other tourists injured after a charter boat was battered in rough seas off the far south coast. It's the latest in a series of accidents on our waterways, sparking a fresh warning from first responders. Heading out of the inlet at... He grabbed me by the collar, ripping my necklace, and he knocked me to the floor. I landed on the dog's bowl, which cracked under my back. He says the fight broke out after William called Megan rude and abrasive, which parroted the press narrative about his wife. It was risky business for a good cause. Four people wrangling this shark on a beach in Perth's north last night. Fishermen caught the shark, then released it at Quinns Beach. The fish fighting the whole time, coming very close to some of its helpers' ankles as the waves roll in. Not on my flight. A virgin pilot swaps the cockpit for the cabin to kick off an unruly passenger. See the fiery confrontation next. The great contraband crackdown, unique items prisoners are trying to smuggle behind bars and see what's really happening with this hug. Australian drivers have spoken. We'll reveal the nation's favourite car. And in its 30th year, all aboard the Elvis Express, about to leave Central. 
The pilot on a Virgin Australia flight bound for Sydney was forced to remove a drunken passenger before taking off from Townsville. The man became aggressive and swore at the crew after he was reportedly refused alcohol. The airline says it has since imposed travel restrictions on the passenger. Joe Biden has called it embarrassing. Donald Trump has been asked to intervene. Tonight, the race for US House Speaker remains in chaos. After two days of voting, there's no clear winner. Republican infighting has seen Kevin McCarthy lose support, but he will return for another showdown tomorrow. The first... Uh, Mark Dalton, Nine News. Ahead in Nine News, sometimes we find ourselves out of breath. Many put it down to being out of shape, but could it be the sign of a serious health condition? And if these walls could talk, the home of an international rock star hits the market on our south coast. Emma Lawrence is here with Sport, and it was an historic day for two of our batsmen. Amelia, Steve Smith has gone past one of Don Bradman's magic milestones. But Usman Khawaja took his incredible record at the SCG to a whole new level. Highlights from day two are up next. Nick Kyrgios pulls out of another tournament. Is his Australian Open preparation in tatters? And World Cup hero Lionel Messi gets the rock star treatment as he returns to his club. And if you're planning a picnic or barbecue this week, and Sunday is the pick of the weather, I've got the forecast soon. Usman Khawaja has continued his love affair with the SCG. He finished a rain-interrupted day unbeaten on 195, his third straight century at the ground. Steve Smith scored his 30th test century to go past Don Bradman's tally. Australia 4 for 475 at Stumps on day two. With their familiar grey lock. As they now look to re-sign the superstar beyond this season. So well deserved, Amelia. He's Absolutely. done almost everything in the game. And that World Cup was just incredible. Wasn't it? Thank you very much, Emma. Next on Nine News, the sinister reason you could be finding yourself out of breath. The South Coast home owned by a music superstar that's just hit the market and it's red hot. And safe to say these Bali surf lifesavers weren't expecting to make this rescue today. There are concerns Australians who become breathless when doing simple tasks could be living with a serious medical condition. Around a quarter of symptoms are linked to obesity and experts say ignoring the signs could have serious consequences. It's a symptom that's synonymous with heavy action next month. It was a normal day at the beach until a giant croc rocked up. That's when lifeguards in Bali became wildlife wranglers, fishing the three metre beast out of the water and tying it up with rope. The croc was then safely taken away from the public area. Checking finance for you now. Australian shares barely budged today, with most sectors ending the day only a few fractions of a percent higher or lower. Most of the big banks crept up, along with Qantas. The dollar was down against everything but the pound. It's buying around 56 pence and 68 US cents. Coming up, Sophie with the weather. Thanks, Amelia. A shower or two and windy tonight. It's coolish out there right now. 17 degrees in the city, 18 in our west. I've got your forecast after the break. We were back to jumper and jeans weather today with cooler temperatures and the wind chill factor making for a pretty miserable day out. Although when you live in a city this pretty, it's worth rug rugging up and heading out anyway. Penrith was a good 7 degrees cooler than yesterday, 21 degrees. Blacktown and Liverpool slightly warmer, 24 degrees. Campbelltown reached 22. The city climbed to 23. Cronulla peaked at 21 degrees. Now, unsettled conditions in many places across the country due to a number of lows and a monsoon trough, which will continue to generate heavy rain and storms over the northern tropics. It will be settled over much of South Australia, Victoria, as well as Tasmania. Partly cloudy 
in Brisbane and Canberra tomorrow, blue skies over Melbourne, a great old day in Hobart and 19 degrees, clear skies over Adelaide and 31. A few showers expected along the coast tomorrow, particularly around the central coast, fine and mostly sunny in the west. Daytime temperatures generally below average. Mostly cloudy and a little wet across Sydney tomorrow, up to 15 millimetres expected. There will be glimpses of blue in the morning with increasing showers in the afternoon and evening, heading for a high of 25 degrees. You won't need the fan tonight, it's dipping down to 16. Light showers expected right across the suburbs, up to 8 millimetres in Penrith, 24 degrees, as southerly winds picking up to 35 k's an hour. Blacktown, Parramatta heading for 24 degrees, Liverpool and Campbelltown expected to reach 23, 21 degrees at Cronulla. And looking ahead, showers will ease on Saturday, 24 degrees. Then Sunday will be lovely, drenched in sunshine and 25. Even warmer on Monday, 27, increasing cloud Tuesday and Wednesday before a few drops on Thursday. And in our west, a shower or two and 25 degrees on Saturday, partly cloudy on Sunday and 28, sunny and warm on Monday, 33. Tuesday will start to cloud over, then chance of a shower Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday. So a few more showery days to get through, but Sunday will be divine. Amelia? At last. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Soph. <laughs> Dimity Clancy is next with A Current Affair, but that is Nine News for this Thursday. I'm Amelia Adams. Thanks for your company. Have a great night.